Hello. Hello, 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 mate. Hello, mates. How are you going? It's uh, it's a coffee talk time. Go piss, girl. I did. Hello, hello. Big Liz D in there. B. It's so nice to see you. I missed you. Did, did you know that? I missed you. I do a big miss. I thought, hey, Beelis Demon wasn't in the last stream. I miss B. And now you're here, and I could not be more happy that you are here. Must you witness um, the astronaut law on your cutie? Big kisses. Smooch. Mwah. Um, so we are playing Coffee Talk. I don't have dinner to scoff down. Don't have any distractions. Got some water with me. I'm ready to read. I'm ready to put on the really shitty accent. And I want to know more about this astronaut. So far. <laughs> I will get hydrated. <laughs> Thank you, B. Delectable. So far we know that this astronaut only took on the image of an astronaut because he saw the album cover which we can see here pretty snazzy pretty cool um and he goes by the name neil and abby had told me that um he probably got that from neil armstrong the astronaut so i didn't clue that together but now we know um and we're continuing thankfully on this little day eight i think and now i need to brew something for him so <gasps> let's just get into it i'm excited yeah everyone's excited my little two viewers are excited let's go we doubt she'll be able to do that challenge accepted so we need to make him a drink that he can feel because he drinks with his finger like a suction cup like a straw it's kind of weird kind of kind of weird so i want to make him like something like maybe like super spicy like mint like cinnamon maybe something that like i think he would like i don't know mint cinnamon chocolate I don't know. We're gonna try. Yeah, he drinks those fingers. It's kind of weird. Interesting. What's he doing? Drinking. That's how they drink. Woo boy! You are an interesting person. Thank you. It was a compliment, yes. Normally, yes, but you can't be so sure with Freya. Freya still pick me. I, I, I stand by that. Definitely the highest form of compliment. What are you, Neil? Us? We are travellers. Doing our job in the space you call the Milky Way. What kind of job? We are tasked with the mission to spread our seat. I know. Hate Freya train. <laughs> um, spread our seeds. You really are here to find a date. All the way from the galaxy far, far away. Wow. It turns out purrs exist everywhere. Oh, she did not. Ha ha ha. Feeling attacked, old man? Not really. You have a valid point. We do not understand. Look at him doing the things with his fingers. Oh. But we are glad we can make you laugh. Oh, the pleasure was mine. Okay. If I give her like a snobby voice, will that make life so much easier? If I may ask, why do you have to breed with us? Hmm. We are sorry, but this is classified information. Oh man. Well, how's the mission going so far? You could not say it is going well. I'm not surprised. With how quirky and unique you are, not many women can handle that. Could, ha could you handle them though? Me? I don't know. What do you think? You're a pretty adventurous girl. I wouldn't be surprised if you decided to go on a date. Or maybe go further if you got <laughs> if it got you a good story. 
<laughs> oh, you're not offended by that? Not in the slightest. You're wrong. Though, so, I've gone a date with them. But I don't like to sleep around, really. To be honest, I didn't expect that. Yeah, I get that a lot. People often mistake me for someone who gets around a lot. Excuse me, miss. From what we gather, does it mean you are willing to breathe with us in exchange for our stories? Well, no wonder your mission isn't going well. I don't mind going out with you for a drink or dinner in exchange for stories, but I'll only sleep with someone I'm serious about. But that mission is serious. It's not that. You either have to be my boyfriend or husband if you want to sleep with me. So she's not gay. I thought she was gay. You yeah, have heard of those terms before. Let us check them once again. <laughs> this is... This is very strange. According to what we found, many earthlings mate with one person exclusively for entire lives? I don't know why his accent changed. <laughs> um... Yes, that's called commitment. Such a strange concept. Then why, with such rules, do we still face overpopulation problems? Um, now that you mention it, we don't have enough control of ourselves. And those in charge also don't have enough control of us. Not to mention some races live for a very long time, so... Okay, I'm on my final turn and thank... I think I actually said no, 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 I can't speak. Oh, you're listening to me. Oh my goodness. You're, you're, oh wait, you're watching without audio. I, the, the symbol was confusing. You can't even hear me. My god. I'm just gonna say hi in chat then. Hi. So even though there are rules about having kids, and they can be strictly enforced, a lot of people still break them. We know a things both about the concept of free will, but we thought your kind also loved the concept of restraint in taking care of the planet. At least that was what we gathered from your information network. Theoretically, that should be the case. But Earthlings are so stupid. That's the easiest way to put it. I have audio, I forgot to take it off yesterday. <laughs> no, you're fine. Hello, hello, hello. We learned so much today, but we have another question for Miss Freya. Away. We're giving Freya a snobby voice, by the way. How can you become your husband? <laughs> oh. oh my god, I'm sorry, Lori. I hope my stream can bring good vibes and no frustration. I'm not even gonna like recreate that lot. First of all, I would suggest suggest going step by step most of the time you start by dating boyfriends or girlfriends you know before you talk about marriage oh okay so how can we become your boyfriend you can start by asking whether she's actually single understood so miss freya <laughs> are you single <laughs> yes i am single do you want to be our girlfriend? No, that part starting to date varies between people, but usually it takes some time before you want to commit to someone. Oh, one more hour, slay. I hope I can bring you some peace before your shift ends. We've just learned the drama is just gossip girl here. Wow. The breathing process on Earth is surely extremely complicated. It can be easier if you're a smooth talker. Smooth talker? Someone good at communicating with others. That'd be really challenging for us. Even after all that, making kids is still a totally different thing. Most women prefer if their male partners wear condoms. <laughs> He's so innocent. He just doesn't know anything. Condoms? It's something you wear to prevent pregnancy. Why would you do the mating ritual if you do not want to have offspring? Pleasure. The piece is nice. The shift has not been it. I was feeling it. Oh, I'm so sorry, Mori. I hope that you can relax after work. Get through that last hour. All this information is too much to process in one evening. So we talked about using condoms, but how do you kind of sex? 
like seeing how you drain a condom might be something you can't use at all hmm, that's true how do you do it we are pretty flexible with that a tiny fateless statement <laughs> but we cannot tell you details unless we agree to do the mating ritual. I do not want to imagine how it's done. Oh, you do not need to worry. We will not hurt anyone physically or mentally. Oh, he's so sweet. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that. Especially the mental part. We did our research and we tried it on the testing object we- Oh my god. It was proven. The mental capacity of Earth things is far more complicated than anything else in Earth, so... Oh, we do not know that. Yeah, you're a nice fateless demon. Sometimes. Being born on Earth sounds very difficult. It is. I should agree with that. Anyway, thank you so much for the information you have given us tonight. It means a lot of our mission. We have to report our findings to the base. How are you... Yeah, I see it all well. Oh, it's just... He... he. <laughs> it's all of us stream now. How will we... How will you perceive the mission with this newfound information? Oh, day off will be so nice tomorrow. Let's go, slow. We are not sure yet. It is yet to be discussed after all. It was really nice talking with all of you. You're welcome. We are off now. Bye. Take care on your way, sir. Oh, what a what a lad. Oh. <laughs> that was really something. Indeed. You said the first time they came here was for a date, right? Yeah, but their date never came, and they mistook Miss Myrtle for their date. The game developer work? Wow, and don't you think how that went? That's pretty awkward. You can't be angry at such night naivety. I guess so. Remember what the hell how's the game been? Don't play it once but never finished it. I love this game. It's it's really it's really a lot of gossip, bro. You're just, you're just you're eating it up. It's also really fun to just make up the voices and you all seem to like it. You all are rooting for the astronaut to find love, so here we are again. By the way, has that young woman been back since I spoke with her last time? I mean, Miss Lua? Yeah, her. Oh, showing some concern now, are you? She's so annoying. <laughs> I'm just curious. He deserves all the love. No, I haven't seen her since then. But her boyfriend did come a few days ago, and Freya was being pretty noisy to the point that Mr. Gala joined the discussion. Mama, you really have a knack for starting trouble. Daddy, I have to agree with that. It's not easy to make go. Oliver's just giving his uh, input on the situation. Hide is hot, I agree. I agree. M many words. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Speak your truth. <laughs> it's not easy to make Gala join a random conversation unless it really piques his interest or it annoys him. I don't know how to react to that. Well, I need to catch a flight to. S oh, how do you pronounce that? Soul. Tomorrow? So I'm off for the day. Oh, you're leaving Seattle so soon? It's only for a week or so. I'll be back sooner than you know. Oh well, it'll be a peaceful week then. Anyway, I need to get going as well. Thank you for letting me stay without ordering anything. I didn't even notice that. You really don't care about business. She didn't order anything, but she did attract people to the coffee shop. That's one way to put it. Anyway, Freya, do you want to share a cab? Thanks, but I'm riding my bike. All right then, see you around. Take care on your way, folks. I think that would probably be the end of the day. Yeah.
Wednesday, September 30th, 2020. Protect survivor of Atlantic immigrants stole from my cause. I guess challenge. Love it. Yeah. Who it gonna be? Who it gonna be? Welcome. Whoa! Good evening, sir. Oh, bye, Maury. You got this. I'm gonna stare at a bold man in fear. I, you guys can probably hear my brother in the back. He's just, he's just going wild. He's, he's wild and free. So, that, that's what's going on. Um. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. Thank you. Have have as much fun as you can at work. <laughs> Hello. I'm from the Federal Immigration Regulation Enforcement Division, or FIRE for short. How may I help you? We've heard reports of alien sightings in the area. We'll take the issue of illegal interstellar immigration seriously. Have you heard any creature you would consider an alien in nature? I don't think so. But should I be looking for? What should I be looking for? What does the alien look like? We're not 100% sure. But according to the uh, some eyewitnesses, it's wearing a spacesuit or something similar. Oh my god, astronauts and alien? That's a uh, pretty eye-catching outfit. You'd think an illegal alien would try to blend in better, right? The word attention, you know? That is a very good point. In fact, there might be a solid possibility that we have been running around, but they, that we have been running around after false testimonies. They are superior creatures after all. Thank you for the help. If you see any suspicious activities, please contact us through our website. Will do, sir. Do you want to drink anything before leaving? We're good. Take care on your way. Yeah, that's so silly. What, what are we? What are we unlocked? Neil, there he is. Put him on the socials. You really need to be more careful, Neil. Huh? Oh, hello. Good evening, cat. Yo. <laughs> hello, Miss Aqua, Miss Nurdle. Nurdle? Myrtle? Have you both been somewhere together? We plan to meet here. It's just coincidence we arrived at the same time. Yeah, Abby told me that today and I was like, wait. You're so right. He got it from Neil Armstrong, Neil Ashford. Oh, whoa. It's just a coincidence we read. I think these two have like a thing. I think. Do you have to order anything? Do you want to order first? Nah, you go first. Okay, can I have a cup of green tea with a lot of mint? But yeah, bro. I love the sound of the rain in the background. Oh, it's actually got a name. That's cool. Marrakech, inspired by its origin. Marrakech in Morocco? I hope that people really love tea. That give this a try then. Um, not my cup of tea. Literally. Oh my, it's warm but very refreshing. No wonder Morocco is often associated with tea. How about you, Miss Myrtle? Do you want to order right away? Sure. I'll have the... The what? What is it? We don't have that. We don't, we don't have what you want. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do, 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 do um, a big do, 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 Oh, so it's with hot tea and milk, apparently. Um, 
So tea, milk, and um. What did I? What else to add? Let me look up the ingredients. <laughs> I don't know. Um, tea, condensed milk, and water. Um, we don't have that, so I'm just gonna add more milk, maybe. Or maybe I should do two teas. Tea. Oh, you can add um ginger apparently to it. Okay, how about we do tea, milk, ginger. Possibly. Maybe. We'll see. That is something... God. No, that's not what we want. Okay, how about tea tea milk? There we go. Okay, TT now. Cool. Huh? Is there anything wrong? No. It's better than I thought it would be, actually. The taste is really authentic. Just like you get in Southeast Asia. Slay. Didn't Google it. What do you mean? But do you want to make it? I traveled around Southeast Asia with teaching this. Oh, yeah, I totally did. You know, it's in my spare time. Obviously. That's what it's like. I need a blanket. It is cold. Oh Eating your bundle for coffee talk. All right. Oh, that was an accident. I can start a new sub goal. Whoops. Um. Yeah, let's start a new sub goal. You guys. I didn't know I had I had a thing I to do. There we go. Start goal. So I have it on the screen, but I don't actually have it through Twitch, so there we go. So you learnt about it in Malaysia? Yes, and from videos on the internet. Yeah, see, I went on the internet, bro. <laughs> Nothing's going in the office. I'll be over you have Dindin. Okay, B, have fun with Dindin. Fun with Dindin. Hope you enjoy your Dindin. Um, as usual, I ring. Thanks to you and your team, we've made some good progress with the problem we're stuck on for a while. Oh, that's right, we're both like working together. I'm glad I could have been of help. It's not every day our research can have an impact as direct as this. Only a few weeks after publication of us. The thing is, even with your help, we still need to do a ridiculous amount of overtime to make sure the game will be available for the holiday season. Oh, that's right, so they're developing a game and aqua is helping technology wise or something like that i want to say please don't forget to rest oh but i'm sure it won't be that easy for you and the team ha! as if those executive cares executives care about us over time it's not mandatory they'll say please see your family go see some rest but we all know that optional overtime is a passive aggressive move we'll stay longer in the office anyway because if you don't go home earlier than the others, you'll feel bad for them. I feel guilty. I understand that so much. I hate to admit it, but yeah, it's guilt. I wish I could help you, or at least say something to boost your morale. Sadly, I'm not the right person to give that, give you advice about that. But guilt is something that also bothers me a lot, even for the things I shouldn't feel guilty about. Oh, she's so sweet. You know what makes it worse? I know the state of the industry, and it still saddens me to realise that my favourite series was born out of such sacrifice. I'm sorry, I run the mid for everyone. Don't worry about it, Aqua. I'm not that bad off, you know. At least that company gives us decent compensation. Healthcare, bonuses and so on. I'm already used to this, so don't worry about me, okay? Getting used to unhealthy working conditions shouldn't be a norm. Hey, cheer up. Remember? Your research helped us out a lot. 
thanks to you, the rest of the development is going to be so much easier. How's your game doing, by the way? Do they both have a game? Something. They're helping each other. The game got approved to be showcased at the map this year. That's really good news. Haha, <laughs> we slept with the astronaut. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Um, no, we, uh, we found out, we taught him what condoms were. Um, he wants to be Freya's husband boyfriend, like Michaela said so, and, um, the FBI, or fire in this case, got a different name, are after him. He's an alien. Thank you. So, what's the problem then? I haven't confirmed my attendance to the organizer. Why? Confirm it fast before they give you a spot to another indie. I am just not sure about it. What's stopping you? Cost? The booth is free for indies. That's good then. And the event even in and the events even in Seattle. You don't need to spend anything on travel accommodation. It's a golden ticket. But I'm not sure I'm not that confident. You pass the selection process, right? That should be a validation up to reassure you of the game's quality. If I'm not mistaken, the judges are usually pro pro prolific people in the industry, but also senior journalists. I know, but I've told you about my game, right? It's pretty non-traditional and fans and people will be losing max. Expecting full metal conflict and other bigger games. Every game has its own market, you know, and you'll be in the indie area. People know what to expect there. Gamers aren't stupid. That's right, guys. We're, we're not. We may not touch crafts. We know. We may not go outside, but I don't think we're stupid. We aren't, we aren't stupid. Oh shit! What do I do? There we go. <laughs> what if some haters visit the booth? What if they don't like my game? If they both things about it, or about me? That's not gonna happen. It's an expo, not the internet. People are way nicer in real life. Somehow, I feel like that is incorrect. Even after all that, I'll still be there by myself for the whole event. The one, that one is a problem, yeah. Meeting that many people is already scary enough. Doing it for four days straight, showing my baby to the public, I can't imagine the horror. You know what? So far my schedule is pretty empty around then. If things stay that way until max, I'll come with you. Aww. But you don't have to do that even if you're free then. You shouldn't waste your time on me. Relax or something. Nah, it's no bother. Bother. <laughs> um, I'm, I'll be going to the event anyway. Might as well come with an exhibition of edge. What about your company's booth? Don't worry about it. There are hundreds of us. I can just ask my lead to skip this year. I'm coming with you, whether you like it or not. Okay, good. Now, what are you going to sh what are you going to show the game on? I have a laptop and a smartphone. Is the expo build ready? Expo build. You're not planning to showcase the full version, right? Um, that's the plan. Don't. I can give you the guidance on what to have for the expo build. Do you have a game with you now? It's on my phone. I can send you the build now if you want. Do so. Oh. Um, got it. Now let's see. I want to see his game, bro. Oh, hello. Hello, Miss Rachel. Hi, cat. What's wrong? Huh? Nothing. I've just been practicing all day and I'm pretty tired. Are you having a concert soon? Don't tell anyone I'll be announced tomorrow. I'm going to perform at Couchella. <laughs> Couchella. <laughs> Next week. They're still adding new performers? Yeah, you might say that they've announced late are... Uh... Backups. Oh. But it's still the biggest festival in the country. Yes. And I'm excited for it. 
I think I should celebrate with a special drink, something sweet. What do you want to order? A sweet hot chocolate. Okay. Chocolate, chocolate honey, maybe? Honey would be a little bit sweet. Oh shit, I forgot reset. I forgot to add the milk. <laughs> I forgot to add the milk. Oh, hot chocolate, milk, honey. There you go. <laughs> That doesn't look right. It doesn't look milk, honey, chocolate. That doesn't look right. Let's try milk. Oh, okay. So it has no reset. So hot chocolate, honey, milk. I'm just gonna serve her that. That looks cute. very pretty. Is this what she wanted? And it's warm and sweet! I love it! Okay, okay, that's what I want to do. Please don't hesitate if you need anything else. Thanks. Other than the instruction on the loading screen, try putting a time limit on how long they can play. Why? Wouldn't that break their immersion? Probably, but in case there's a good reaction to it, you might have people lining up to play your game. Don't want to make them wait too long. That makes sense. If you don't want to put a time limit on it, try ending a demo with a cliffhanger. That should get people's attention. Noted. Dad? Oh, hi dad. What are you doing here? After what you did at the studio this evening? Oh. I was worried I couldn't find you anywhere around the studio, so I thought you'd be here. Can we just not limit ourselves to the plane to this place? But now you're causing another racket. I guess. We're sorry, cat. We didn't mean to cause you any problems. You are sorry. I don't have anything to be sorry for. Oh. Well anyway, I better order something. What are you having? What would you recommend? Banish Sahara. What is that? It's basically a hot chocolate with milk and ginger. Sounds delicious. I'll take this. Milk and ginger. I'm learning so many drinks this episode. Your drink is ready, sir. Ma, ma, this is amazing. Glad you liked it. Dad. Yes. Please go home after you finish your drink. Not until you leave our good for nothing Herbert. I need him. He's gonna help me become more successful. I know Morris. He's not a good person. The industry has changed, Dad. It's not like 20 years ago. Besides, since you've left, he's been growing his brand, making his name, managing a lot of stars, they become superstars. I'm gonna take a drink. They still have influence in the industry. He hasn't changed much. And even if he has, it wasn't for the better. You're just being paranoid. First, you were afraid of how my fans would treat me. Now you're afraid of the industry too. What's next? You lock me in the house because you're afraid of the air I'm breathing? You're just too young to understand. Then make me understand because this is definitely not helping. There are better ways. Didn't you learn anything from mom? You were together for almost 15 years, but you learned nothing. Not even how to talk to your own daughter. Rachel, I am sorry, but I'm trying, okay? Try harder, because right now, you're not helping anyone. Not me, not you, no one. I know, but give me a chance. You know what? It will take time for me to learn, but I am learning, or you know, I could return to the industry. I could try to be your manager. Dad, are you out of your mind? You've been out of touch for so long. I told you, I have involvements there. I'm not that out of touch. Of course, there are things I need to figure out, but we... It doesn't work that way, Dad. You know that. Going from a girl band to a solo career won't be easy. If I take things slow, I'll lose all my momentum. 
If you don't want me to be your manager, can you at least choose someone other than Morris? I don't think so. Mr. Lester is the height of his career now. He is my best chance right now. Don't be too paranoid, okay? I've made my decision. Now please go home. Relax. And don't ever come to the studio again. I'm going back there. I need to practice for the festival. It's only a few days away. And it's a big chance to boost my presence as a solo artist. I'm not gonna lie, but I was listening to this in real life. I don't think that'd be okay with me eavesdropping this much. Right? I'm just standing there and they're just having this argument. When are you going to be home? I don't know. I'll be staying at the hotel the label provided. But that's. See you, Dad. Wait, Rachel. Shoot. Excuse me for a moment, Dad. Oh, dear. Deary me. Sorry about what just happened. <laughs> you don't have to apologize. Yeah, we were busy minding our own business anyways. What, you didn't hear that argument, Myrtle? Of course I heard them. I just chose to ignore most of it. It's none of my business, is it? That's amazing. What's so amazing about that? I don't think I can do that. Dividing and focusing my attention so completely, especially when there's an argument like that. Are you saying you weren't listening to my advice and you were focusing on them instead? <laughs> No, I was listening. I made notes. See? You didn't even realize. Are you okay for focusing your attention? Now that you mention it, it happens naturally, I guess. Being born into a big family is useful after all. Yeah, sometimes we don't even realize what we're capable of doing. By the way, you want to head back now? Yeah, it's pretty late. Yo, cat, we're leaving. We'll be having a time. Any for the drinks as usual. We'll take care of your mate. Oh. Hello. How are you back? But you're right. Sir. Oh, yes, yes. Please don't worry about me. Did you manage to catch up with Miss Rachel? No, I lost her. I'm sorry to hear that, but I'm sure she's alright. I hope you're right. By the way, I don't need the asking. Yes? Great argument with Miss Rachel. Something kept bug me. What's that? Why did you leave the music industry? Damn, I'm nosy. Now that's a trip down memory lane. You don't have to tell me if it makes you uncomfortable. Oh no, it's fine. I left around 20 years ago, just as we were welcoming the beginning of the new millennium. It's a great time for girl bands, you know. They were huge in the 90s. They were still enjoying the leftover sensation of the past decade, and I met my wife while working. He worked for a record company. That's how we met. I decided to get married and settle down. I wanted a peaceful life. You didn't find peace managing girl bands? Oh gosh, no. The politics, the dark side of the industry, none of it's good. But what me hit bleh, what hit me hardest was the fans. Toxic fans are the worst. The teenage girls especially, they were crazy about their idols. To the point where they started doing really unimaginable stuff. Like what? Spending all their money trying to copy the superstar's lifestyle, abandoning their responsibilities, their families, and the men, they were even worse. They sexualized the girls in every way you can imagine, edited photos, stalkings, outright sexual assault. It was before the internet, mind you. I mean, the internet existed, but it was as, wasn't as mainstream as it is now. I wasn't even in the target of the abuse, but it haunted me. It was everywhere. Don't talk to me about peace. I couldn't sleep back then. Not getting enough sleep is dangerous for Kat. What do you do for a living? After we got married, my wife and I opened a record store. It's not that big, but we have a very specific audience or a niche, but they love us for it. It's more than enough for our little family. You said you're still in touch with your friends in the music industry? They visit my place from time to time. And we meet up at least once a year. Usually it's at my place. Gosh, look at the time. I should go home too. Are you going to be alright by yourself? Don't worry about me. I'm an old cat. We're stronger than most people think. See you later, cat. And sorry, we're bringing our fight to your place. Don't worry about it. Alright, ta ta. Bye bye. 
I didn't say ta ta, I just felt like adding that. October 1st. New Bells reference. Couchella organizes her parent my Whoa, I am not reading today. Oh, couch. Organizer reminds parents not to allow their children's children to attend unsupervised. Rachel! Sorry, we're not open. <gasps> Neil! You come early today. Is there anything I can help you with? There is definitely something you can do. What is it? Can we work here? Uh, excuse me? What? Is it possible for us to work here? What? Why? We have learned. I finally get We have learned something precious since we first arrived here. Communication is very important on Earth, and Earth things communicate in a very complicated way. It had blown my mind to learn that you need to mix you need to mix between verbal and non-verbal com communication. Yeah. Yes, but I can see your communication skills have improved all the lot since you arrived. That is true, but it is not enough. Some of the biggest lessons about the things we have learned we learned from them from here. They made us think. This made us think. Instead of focusing on finding a breeding partner, we should focus on learning how to communicate with Earthlings properly. That's like a good strategy. This is why we have allowed you to lash you to allow us to work here. Because you want to interact with our customers. That is correct. Hmm, I'm not sure, sure about this. Neil, normally if you're applying for a job on Earth, you have to go through a certain process before you finally get the job, if you get it at all. Look at him do his little finger thing. Let me think this over if you don't mind. I'll let you know tomorrow. Oh no. We are sorry for our spontaneity. Tea? <laughs> but it has to be today. May I know why? Because we are leaving for an event tomorrow. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank you. But with one condition, you won't be making any drinks. I'll handle that. Once I'm done, you'll give the cup to the customer. Understood. There are other things you need to keep in mind. What is that? Dealing with the customers. Some people come here just to chill. They might come for a drink, work, or read something. I strongly suggest you let them be. Always be prepared if they want to talk about anything. How can we know whether people want to be left alone or not? That won't be easy, but you'll be able to judge based on their body language. Non-verbal signs? Yes. That will be very hard for us. Indeed. Don't worry, I'll give you a sign when you should start talking or when you should stop. Thank you. We will need that so much. Well, it's basically all you need to do here. Do we need a special outfit to do the job? Not really. I'd lend you an apron then though, to keep your suit clean and differentiate you from the customers. You don't really need more differentiation. It will make you look more legit for the job. That is a very earthling thing to do. It is. Alright then, are you ready for this? We are. Okay, let's start the night. Oh, let's go! Oh, I'm so excited. Welcome. Holy wow. What the hell is happening? Good evening, Miss Freya. Hey, Kat, what's going on here? Well, Neil was working here tonight. And I thought I was the one who brought bad news. I never thought this place would be ground zero for an alien invasion. Ha, huh, it's not that. Neil's just helping out. You've never looked like someone who needs help. There are a few things to clarify, Miss Freya. First, our mission was never about conquering Earth. In fact, it is the other way around. Second, judging from the situation, 
We are actually the person who's getting help from the barista, not the other way around. What? We have learned some things since we arrived and we come to a conclusion before starting another breeding mission, we should learn about how earthlings communicate. We thought this place was the best place to learn. And you just agreed to this? On one condition. I make the drinks. Neil will only be here to serve and communicate. Fair trade. What's in it for you then? What? You're helping them here? What do you get in return? Now that you mention it, is there anything you want from us? Please do not hesitate to ask. Don't mention it. Maybe you could be my next story. I can write an article about your work here. Freya? If I still need to write the paper for the paper again. What happened? The chief found out. Oh. Is that why you didn't come yesterday? Yes. How did she find out? You remember my fateful meeting with the higher up? In the elevator? Yes. I don't think I've ever been much happier than right now. Right? <laughs> Same thing happened with my chief. They met each other in the lift. And I up met you how encountered to her. The chief called her into pulled me into her office. Things went downhill from there. She realized immediately. This was the reason for my poor performance lately. She didn't like it, of course. I'm sorry to hear that. What are you gonna do now? Write the goddamn novel, I guess. And after that, type this sells well. If not, I don't know. <laughs> oh, you're so cute. We did not understand what is happening, Mitreya. But we feel the immense sadness and frustration you feel. How about a warm cup of drink? <laughs> it is on the house. Huh? You allowed to do that? We will pay for the drink. No, it's okay. It's on the house. That was a nice thing to do, Neil. You can be the mascot. <laughs> that was the best thing to do according to our senses. It was. So, what do you want to drink with, Freya? Your favourite. Our favourite? Anything. I trust you with the decision. Oh, wait, that's... I trust you with that decision. Right, that means we got free reign. I need to call for a green team. Milk. Lemon. I don't know. I don't know what we're making. I want to make something new. Oh, it's not. It's... Ugh, no. It needs to have like a name once I've made it. Um, I like poppy. Uh, cinnamon and gin milk. I want to make something new. Nope. <laughs> oh, we even have his little hand holding the, the coffee. Okay, what about coffee, ginger, mint. I don't know, I'm making shit up. Nah. It has to have a name, doesn't it? stuff that's about tea, cinnamon, and mint. Oh my god, no. It needs to have a name. It can't just be called that. Um...
थी सिनेमन एंड हनी आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू लाइक Who else is gonna brew it? Thank you so much for this. I always wondered why your place only served hot drinks, but today I might have an idea why. How far along are you with the model? I can love. I can prepare the draft in a few days, I think. Now that I don't really need to care about other deadlines. Hang on, you guys. If I manage to infuse some coffee and creativity in my blood, that sounds doable. Even though I have a caffeine infusion. Excuse me, Miss Freya. We have learned extensively about the Earthlings' bodies, about all the races, and we do not think infusing your blood with coffee would be advisable. Ugh. I'm sorry, Neil. I'm not really in the mood for this sort of conversation. It was just Neil. I wasn't serious about infusing herself with coffee. Oh. We are glad to hear that then. There's a figure of speech, Neil. Oh, she's so annoying. Ah, we have heard about that term. It is still very hard to understand your language. It will always be hard. Languages will keep on changing. Understood. At least we are here now to learn the basics of how things communicate, on, on how they communicate. Miss Freya, if you may ask, ask away. How do you, how fast do you write? Not fast enough, apparently. But do you have numbers? Numbers? How many words do you produce per day? Um, I don't think I have the exact number, but full time, I should be able to write between three and five thousand words per day. Shit. That's a lot. That's raw. After that, I still need to edit it. I usually end up with half of what I originally wrote. According to our research, the standard number of words for the thing you need to write is between 50 and 100,000. That's right, but for this draft, I don't need to write that much. That is pleasant information to hear. How many words do you need to write? Let's see. I think it should be around 15,000 words. That's a pretty big for a pitch draft. Words GRA, maybe. The biggest publisher around. If we can't based on the number of words, it seems like you'll be able to achieve your target easily. <laughs> I wish. Writing isn't only about the numbers of words, Neil. You're so mean to him. It requires things outside the mere word count. If you only if you only judge writers by their ability to write a number amount of words, then we wouldn't have poetry or short stories. That is pretty hard to understand. But we learned beforehand the author is a difficult matter. Even for us. Yeah. I think you have a fascination for these things that are hard to understand. From language to arts. Well, oh, hang on, you guys. Now we're all good. Um. And again. But you're not wrong about the writing, you know? Word count is one of the few things you can actually judge a story by. It's the most important. It, oh, sorry, it's not the most important thing. But it's still up there. So this is a valid much huh? Definitely. Cool. <laughs> that didn't sound like sound at all like you, Neil. I guess you really are like something Clara. Another guest! Good evening, Miss Mortal. I won't even ask. Except for one thing. Who's making the drinks? I'm still the one responsible for that. Good. Coffee with a little bit of ginger, please. Coffee, ginger, blue. Okay. Oh, I have to have a secondary. 
plate. We said coffee, milk, ginger. I have a feeling I don't need the milk. But I have to serve it. So let's do some latte art. This is my beautiful latte art. It resembles a poop, <laughs> I would say. Did you record my order properly? Uh, we replayed the order properly. We swear did not miss the order up. I'm sorry, Miss Myrtle. It was my mistake. Please don't blame me for this. Huh? Oh, whatever. Oh my god. We messed it up, you guys. Hmm? Sit. Neil, some people come to a coffee shop just to sit without being disturbed. Oh, that definitely seems to fit Miss Murdo's visit here. Actually, I'm not just here to sit without being disturbed. Ah, I did this. I was just training Neil to how to talk with customers here. I can say that. You're still trying to get laid? Uh, oh! No, we are not. We tasked about learning how earthlings communicate with each other. Yeah, that's a step in the right direction. One suggestion, if you want to blend in with us, stop using such formal languages. Start talking the way we talk. Start listening the way we listen, which essentially is not really listening at all. That would be very difficult to achieve, but we will try. Step by step. One small step for you might be one giant leaf for your kind. Now that's a reference and a half. That was nicely said, Miss Freya. By the way, Miss Murdo, now that we know that you are here for your usual activities, are you here for someone then? Yeah. Oh, is it Aqua? Uh-huh. That's the occasion. No special occasion. It's just... There she be! I'm sorry, I'm late. I was supposed to leave early, but... What, what is this? What, what is happening here? I already told you the bar is called... Blah, 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 blah. This is too much for me to read, bro. Where is Kat? Miss Aqua, please relax. I'm here. Oh, you're safe. Yes, everything's fine. <laughs> okay. Please let me take a breath. Here. Please drink this water. I thought I was gonna have to like prepare water for her for a second. <laughs> Feeling better now? <sighs> yes. I'm sorry. Is it alright? It is alright, Miss Aqua. Everyone's been surprised to see me here. What are you doing here anyway? We're starting to think that we might need to make a recording for the answer to this question. You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. No problem, Miss Aqua. It is time for our break anyway. So, here is the deal. That's really interesting. Very nice of you to do this, cat. Uh, it's nothing really. But do you really think one day is enough to learn everything? Definitely not. But we do not want to disturb this place business for any longer. As if this place cares about business. Besides, we want to travel around the planet for. This coffee shop is a good start. But we cannot limit ourselves to just this place. Where do you want to go after this? Gatilla. He's going to Coachella! What? What are you going to do at Coachella? According to our research, there are many breedings happening during Coachella. Which is why we decided that the event would be our next target. Well, you're not wrong. But didn't you say the baby has to be born out of love? Yes, we noticed that. But we also noticed that we need to know a lot more about earthlings, including the breeding mothers. That is why we will study in Coachella. After that, we will learn be very re be very ready to breed with so many female earthlings. Man did do his research. I shouldn't say this, but hell, that sounds like the best plan you've had since you got there. Here, we know. We also surprised ourselves. But please, Miss Freya, let us stop talking about that then. We work here today. First, let us return to our spot behind the bar. He's so cute. So, um, 
So our discussion with Miss Martha was stopped abruptly. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. What are you two doing together? Uh, it's nothing, we're just friends, you know. We just want to hang out and talk about our work. We work in the same field, remember? Yes, yes, that's it. I don't have that much experience in game development, you see. I thought your research was in computer graphic. Yes, but never made a game from scratch before. I was always a bystander. So I've, always... so I've been asking Myrtle for feedback from time to time. Today, I wanted to take her directly. But she arrived first, so I couldn't buy her a drink. Never mind that. I'd refuse it anyways. But wait. If you'd want to thank her directly, does this mean you're done with the game? Excuse me, Miss Freya, it should be your, not your. <laughs> oh, I love Neil. He just, he just, he, he one of us, man. He knows. So, even he. <laughs> Ashwa, you better not come in here with the wrong yaw. And you're just gonna come for your ass. Oh, so you are correcting my grammar now. Huh. It should be a slip of the tongue. Okay, I'm sorry. How did you pick up on that anyway? It's not like I'm saying it's written down anywhere. We just all. Back to you, Aqua. So, you're done with your game. There's quite a lot of things that you need to polish and fix, but players can experience from start to finish. I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. You can't be disappointed at him. It's Neil. We love Neil. He just wants to get them. What kind of feedback do you, do you give people for a video game? <laughs> Michaela, you missed so much. Neil is now working with us. He is giving the coffee out and he's behind the counter. And he's going to couch Ella to learn about the breeding um, environment there. And he corrected your the correct way. It's pretty slow. Depends on the game, but in Aqua's case, most of my advice is about pacing, control, and UI UX. <laughs> Must be fun to have finished working on the creation. She's such a pick me. Is surely remove some of the weight on my chest. Just to replace it with another weight. You mean there's still more to come after you're done? I'm not done with my book. I'm just I've just lost my job. And I can't finish this draft in time. I'm done. Even after all that. If it doesn't sell well, I need more done. Deadly done. I'm sorry to hear that, Freya. Can you please be more confident. <laughs> I've even started to doubt myself. I've read some of these short stories, you know. After our first meeting, I subscribed to the Evening Whispers app, and then I read some of the stuff he wrote. They're really good, you know. Some of them are better than others, but it's still an enjoyable experience to read them, so I'm excited to check out your book once it's done. You're too kind, Aqua. What you're going through, it's more or less the same as what Myrtle's going through, so I'm sure you'll both be fine. You don't just talk about it in front of other people. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. It's just that. Sharing with Carrie, you know. Okay, okay. Thank you for helping me share with other people. I am really sorry. I know I said thanks already, right? But you had put too much emphasis on share. That's sarcasm, I know that. Aqua, I'm sorry if it sounded that way, but yeah, I kind of get what you're dealing with. Although it's a bit different from me. What's your problem? Oh no. I've been working on something for two years straight. But no one outside the office knows about it. And those who don't seem to appreciate it at all. I thought Full Metal Conflict had a new game every two years. Yes. I only work on them. Not directly. What do you work on? A secret project. I'll tell you under friend and NDA. Okay. Alright, I'm not the paper anymore anyways. I'm part of a special team. We're tasked with making breakthrough in the studio. We need to be able to make a prototype for a new IP, or worst case, another MFFMC game in a different genre. Isn't that a dream job for some people? Ugh. That's what I thought at first. You're a writer, right? Imagine being a writer, but you can't publish anything you write. For years. That doesn't sound like a pleasant situation at all. 
my team has been making pictures, dozens of them, hundreds, thousands, or out of all countless pictures, only a handful got approved for prototyping. So far, none of the prototypes have been approved. Ouch. There's only seven of us on the team, and the seven samurai, that's what they said. So you haven't released anything for the last two years? Sometimes our team works to support others. Oh, wait, real quick, Michaela, read your messages, if you're still here. When they're going through a crunch cycle, they need to hit an almost impossible target. They jump in. No wonder you, you, you folks were considered the seven samurai. I guess, yeah. By the way, Myrtle, I just realized... What? Usually developers get their vacation time after finishing a project, right? More or less, yeah. When was the last time you had a vacation? Before I joined the company, I guess. That's like four years ago! Mm hmm Dude, no wonder you're a baron out. <laughs> yes, that's why. You need a vacation. But I can't just take one. You can. In fact, you will do it tomorrow. But tomorrow is... I'm not done yet. You will take tomorrow, the day after, and the day after off. But where should I go? Don't worry, I'll take care of that. You will? I'm going with you for this long weekend vacation. What about Max West? That's not this weekend. Forget about it for now. Hey, hey, okay, but I can't do it tomorrow. How about signing Friday? It's a long weekend getaway, right? Hmm, all right. Fish wrist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Wow, Aqua, you are like you look like a different person. Really? I'm sorry. Don't be. Okay, you settled then. I need to go home now. I prepare for our getaway. I'll come with you. Um, to my apartment? No, we'll walk together to the bus stop, just like last time. Oh, okay then. Everyone see you next week. They're so totally gonna become a thing. Take care out there. May you find joy during your vacation. That is so super cool. Sorry. Okay, see you next time. Vacation, huh? You definitely need one. Sorry. You definitely need one for him. I know, but not now. I'm gonna finish this draft first. As we said before, you can do it, Miss Freya. Anyway, are you gonna close any time soon? Depends, why? I'm in the mood for some writing. Then please, take your time. Are you sure? Do you want another drink to be going with? It's still in the house. I definitely won't say no. Oh, I don't get to make this drink. Okay. I think I'm gonna leave it there. I've done like way too much talking. My voice kind of hurts. Um, I do want to play some Dibida, but I'm gonna leave Coffee Talk there. So thank you for watching, my guy, my guys, my my friends, and yeah, we'll find out more next time. Yeah.